What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your Android data. Uh, I've been meaning to make this video for a while now, and because I have a lot of how-to videos on rooting and installing ROMs, um, people have been asking, yo, how, how about actually backing up your data? So I've been meaning to do this for a while, so let's get straight into it. Uh, this video is under the assumption that your device is rooted, because without root, you can't back up your data like I'm going to show you um, in this video. Okay, so basically, uh, in my personal opinion, the greatest app to use when you're rooted is called Titanium Backup, uh, which is this one right here. I'll put a link for the free version in the uh, description below. Personally, I recommend you buy the pro version. It's $649. I know that's quite expensive for an app, but as you can see, I have actually purchased it myself. It's worth every single penny. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, why I'm saying that. So basically, uh, like I said, this will work on any Android device, any Android version. The uh, stipulation is that you must be rooted. That's all. So l let me show you a quick demonstration. Uh, so basically, let's say I have an app called Abduction. It's a fun little game. Uh, trust me, there is a purpose to going through this. Come on, come on. Main game, adventure. Uh, okay, so let's say the final level, my score is 16,327, okay? Uh, all the levels are complete, so just keep that score in mind. But trust me, there's a reason for this. And in order to use Titanium Backup, what you need to do is actually go to your phone system settings. Uh, this is Ice Cream Sandwich, so if you're running Gingerbread or older, it might be a little bit different. Uh, I believe the following option, like what I'm going to show you, Android debugging, if you're running Android 2.3 or Android gingerbread and lower, I believe it's going to be under apps instead. If you're on Ice Cream Sandwich and newer, you hit developer options. Basically, what you're looking for is Android debugging. Check mark it, press OK. Um, then in Ice Cream Sandwich and newer, you're going to hit security. Again, if you're running Android gingerbread or older, I believe you hit apps and then you'll find this option where I'm going to show you now, and that's Allow installation of non-market apps. Check market, press OK. Alright, so at this point, we're going to open Titanium Backup. Oops, where did you go? Here you are. Android debugging and um, allowing installation of non-market apps must be uh, checkmarked, okay? There's a, there's a very specific reason for that. Now, the older version of Titanium Backup, this is the main screen, uh, in order to backup stuff, basically, before, you would just tap the menu button and you would look for something called batch. In the newest version, the developer has changed it so that's simply tapping this uh, little check mark box here. This is, this is the batch menu that's being loaded. Okay, so at this point, see there's a section where it says backup, uh, you can restore your backups, and all your backups are stored on your SD card. Um, if, you're, if you're running uh, a device with like say 16 gigs memory, and you have an internal and external memory, I believe it'll choose to install on your internal uh, storage instead, okay? If you're running like a really old device like the Nexus One and all your data is pretty much stored on your SD card, then obviously the backup will be stored on your SD card, okay? So basically what I'm gonna do uh, is say backup, where is it, all user apps. Now of course I'm gonna deselect all because I'm only gonna demonstrate one app and that was abduction, check marked it, okay? Uh, you're gonna hit this green check mark. I believe, like I said, on the older version, I think this is something like OK or done or something like that. But in the new version, you press the check mark button. That's it, it backed it up, right? So as you can see, my apps list, abduction is still there. So all I did was back it up for now. So what I'm gonna do is go to system settings, uh, apps. Okay, there's abduction, still there. What I'm going to do is actually uninstall it. Now the reason I'm uninstalling is to prove to you, ladies and gentlemen, that this app works phenomenal. Okay, So uninstall it as further proof. There's Abduction 2, but Abduction 1 is missing. Okay, And I'm at the end of my apps listing, so it no longer exists. Now, the reason I, I, I want Root and Titanium Backup on any new Android device that I get is because I want to I want to transfer all my apps from my old device to my new device with all my, uh, say with my games, all my levels, my scores, and say if it's just like, um, 
like some sort of random apps that help you with your day-to-day -day living. Um, I, I want to transfer all my settings and everything exactly the same. And that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. So what I want to do is restore uh, Abduction 1, World Attack. But, you know, it, it's a hassle because I lost my score. Well, this is the beauty of Android and being rooted. So what we're going to do is open a Titanium Backup. Let it do its thing. Okay, so in Titanium Backup, you're going to hit that same box with the check mark again. And for the purpose of this video, uh, we're, we're going to ignore backup because we already made a backup. This time we're going to restore a backup, right? So I'm going to do is select uh, restore all apps data. And you're going to go, let's see, all the way to the bottom. Okay, there you see uh, abduction world attack. So I'm going to deselect all and only select abduction. Check mark. And it's restoring. Uh, depending on how big the app is, if it's like an app that's say 20 megabytes, obviously it'll take longer to restore. So what we're going to do is actually let's see what happens when I uh, go to my app system. And there is Abduction World Attack. It's back. Okay. Now to show you even better proof of how great this app works, I'm going to open it up. Come on. Main game, adventure. Again, final level. Your score is 16,327. So there's your proof that this app, Titanium Backup, can restore almost everything exactly the same. So when you're switching from one Android device to another, um, and you, you know you want to transfer all your apps and data, this app does this a phenomenal job. Or, say for example, you want to flash a ROM like CyanogenMod Mod 9, and you're going to you know lose all your phone data, you can back it up with Titanium Backup, and then restore it. And here's here's the main reason for uh, purchasing the Pro Edition. So not only are you supporting the developer, who in my opinion, like I said, made the best Android root app ever. Um, there is another feature, of course. Now, when I restore apps, or actually even when I open up the app, with the um, Pro version, the app loads faster and it does everything faster. And the thing is, when you're, say, you're restoring um, like 150 apps, say you flashed a new ROM and everything's deleted and you want to restore everything again. Now, with the, with the free version, every time you're restoring an app, so say you're restoring 150 apps, every time a new app is going to be restored, it has to say, do you want to allow this uh, non-market app to in install or not install? You have to press allow. Then the next app is going to load, allow or disallow, allow. You have to sit there and keep tapping allow. It's really a pain in the butt. Um, whereas the pro version, it'll just restore everything instantly. It won't ask for any security pop-ups or stuff like that. It'll just do exactly what you tell it to do instantly. Okay, so, uh, oh, and when you're restoring apps, try not to let the screen turn off. Um, it could cause some problems. So what I suggest you go into your phone display settings and change the screen timeout to as long as possible. Okay, there's one more method to backing up your phone and uh, restoring it. So let's get into that right now. Okay, so the other method to backing up and restoring your phone, uh, again, you must be rooted, is you must have, this, is a, this requires an additional step, and that's um, loading Clockwork Mod Recovery on your device. Please do not ask me how to uh, do this because it's different from device to device. Actually, don't even ask me how to root your device because it's different for every device and every Android version. So do your own research, okay? I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but, well, now you guys know. Uh, furthermore, please don't ask, okay, if I have recovery installed on my phone, how do I boot into recovery? Again, it's different for every... Android device out there, so I can't even go through those steps. All right. So basically, the way recovery works. This is touch recovery. Uh, if you have a button recovery, the way it usually works most of the time is the buttons go up and down to navigate, and the power button selects an option. But this is touch, so let me just show you. All you simply do is hit an option called backup and restore, and then to backup, you select backup. Uh, if you want to restore what you backed up, hit restore. Done. Simple as that. Okay. Uh, so that's how you, basically how you. Um, excuse me, how you back up your phone if you're rooted. Rooting allows, you know, you to back up your phone and restore it identical to how it was before. Uh, the only catch, one thing I almost forgot to mention with Titanium Backup, is there's an option to restore system data as well. That's like, say, the email client in the phone. Do not back those up and do not restore. Just select the option I did, and that's simply something like, 
uh, backup all user apps and data. Don't do anything like backup all system apps and data. The keyword is system apps. If you're a newbie to Titanium Backup, if you're experienced, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, say you have, say I'm running Cyanogen Mod uh, 9, and I backed up the email client from my original TouchWiz when it came with my phone, and I try to restore it on Cyanogen Mod 9, the email client will really screw up because it's a part of the system, okay? And TouchWiz and Cyanogen Mod are different systems, even though it's the same phone. So that's basically how you back up stuff if you're a rooted user. Um, I do hope this helped someone out there because a lot of people were asking about that. If it did, check out my website in the description below. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.